welcome back. It is Wednesday. It is new comic book day, and that means once again there's a big old. You know, I'm sure I'm gonna. You know, what? yeah, I'm gonna attempt it. <clears throat> Another thick stack. Another big thick stack. And I tell you what, if you're one to love money, then comics are not your week. <laughs> Because this this week ate up a lot of that money stuff. Uh, high dollar books, nine dollar books, eight dollar books, all over the place, man, all over the place. I uh, start a pull list, start a pull list, and you th if you think I paid cover price for all this shit, shit, man, I have a podcast, can't afford all that. Uh, <laughs> so nevertheless, I'm here to talk about it. Also, let's let's just get down to the nitty gritty. This is what I came home with this week, starting with some Marvel books. Little, uh, little variant cover action. Um, what is this? This is the, 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 the is this, oh, I forget what this is. The X-Men Legends, uh, yeah, that's what it is. Um, yeah, I just had the JTC variant. Yeah, I collect the action figure variants, and this one's pretty, uh, pretty dope. Uh, Immortal Hulk Flatline. See, now, the last time I picked me up an Immortal Hulk one-shot, I was blown away. Granted, it was Jeff Lemire, so naturally. This is D. Clan Shelby. Now, I picked up two of these. Yes. Yes, this is a spec book for me because, because we do have the first appearance of a new gamma threat, as they call her. Who her, her? Who's that? That would be Nor Noreen Newland. Mm-hmm. A former professor. A former professor of uh, the old Bruce Banner. And this old bitch is back to raise hell, it looks like. I just flipped through it. I didn't read the story. Nevertheless, she looks like she could potentially be a threat. Counting down to the new team, Guardians of the Galaxy number 11. I think 13, 14, and 15. Or is it 12, 13, 14? I don't know. New team a-coming. That could be some stuff to spec on, too. You know, I don't know. So, I don't know if it's any new characters being introduced that I've seen so far, but... Um, I don't know. There's probably not a lot of spec behind that. That's just going to be a fun story. What am I saying? Uh, Champions, number four. This has been an incredible series. I did not expect myself to like this series as much. You know, um, E-viewing, I'm kind of off and on. You know, most of the stuff I really like of hers. Um, but the Ironheart, I just kind of was a little turned off on. And I kind of thought this was going to be the same thing. No. No, this is actually one of the first young superhero team books I've really enjoyed. I haven't read a lot either, though. You know, I don't really read Teen Titans or Young Avengers or anything like that. You know, it's just, I have a hard time relating to it. But I, I want to know what this champion stuff is all about, and I'm glad I, uh, I'm glad I'm sticking with this, because it's, it's a lot of fun. Some Iron Man. Iron Man number six, what Christopher Cantwell is doing with Iron Man right now is, it's, it's beautiful, man. Um, it's, it's, it's kind of like old school Iron Man in a way. And I keeps using, I keeps Keep using the term friendly neighborhood Iron Man because that's that's kind of what it feels like. You know, he's not your uh, your your Robert Downey Jr. type of Iron Man in this book. He's a classic Iron Man. Uh, Savage Avengers, number 18. It's a King in Black tie. I'm going to check it out. I've been liking the Savage Avengers stuff. I don't know what the deal is with all of the, the, the people in the chairs and the thrones lately. So there was the Deadpool book. Where he was on the throne, then there's the Excalibur book where he was on the throne. You know, okay, you got, you got a king of the monsters on a throne, and Excalibur. I'm sure somebody's a king or queen somewhere in that. Haven't been reading it, uh, <laughs> but this one right here. I mean, it's not a throne, but it's old Deadpool and uh, Conan kicking back libations. So I don't know. I don't know. Is this like a Marvel theme? What's going on here? What's going on? Uh, from what I've read of Savage Avengers, though, it's been a lot of goddamn fun. Black Widow number five. Uh, I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not really reading this series. I don't know <laughs> how it's still on the pull list. I guess it's just because I started with that one issue, and you figure it's only five issues. What the hell? Might as well get them all. So there we go. I have them for the apocalypse. It's an apocalypse read for sure. It's definitely not a priority. Um, cable. Cable number eight. Oh yeah. Another great Dawn of X series right now. So, it's, yeah. Oh, we got an Aliens cover. Oh, yeah. See, this is one I actually thought I missed. But luckily, <laughs> it was pushed back on the pre-order, so I got another shot at it. I missed my Marvel pre-orders one week. Totally forgot. And this was one of them. Man, that is awesome. That is awesome. 
Uh, more Arcane and Black. Plan of the Symbiotes. Um, yeah, when we see more Plague, will Plague continue to be a thing? Well, based on the history of Symbiotes and their longevity outside of maybe Carnage, um, and obviously Venom, not so much. Even Scream, they're trying. It's not really working. Symbiotes just don't have a, a long, long lifespan. You know, look what happened with Virus. You know, it's fucking three issues. Oh yeah, King and Black, the OG. Yep, there you go. I picked up two of the A and more of the connecting variant. Um, one more after this, so we're gonna be wrapping it up here real soon. Um, <laughs> I'm excited to see where it's going. I mean, I've uh, to where it goes. You know, I've I've been a big fan of the series from the beginning. Um, I, yeah, I'm liking what they're doing. They're not really pulling a lot of punches, and I like that. You know, as people get turned into no lovers and <laughs> no one's safe no lover is that a thing uh another king of black time miles morales spider-man we're all i mean i have to tell you to pick up miles morales right now probably not probably not is this book even really selling i don't know i don't know i don't really hear anybody talking about it which is concerning alarming Thor, Thor number 12 Oh yeah, Jane Foster versus Donald Blake. I mean, come on, guys. This is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to read this issue. I might just read it right now. I'm kidding. Uh, Spider-Woman number nine. I mean, yeah. You know what? There was a dope... Ad I didn't get it. I didn't get it. I don't think most people got it. That's why it's going for so much on eBay right now. But there was a 1 in 25 variant on this, and oh, it, was pr it still is pretty. It didn't go anywhere. It's just... Probably not a lot of them out there. Last I looked on eBay, it's going for over $130. And that was before my shop opened this morning. You know, that was four hours ago. A little late on this video. Um, so, yeah, that's just some stuff right there, right? Modoc Head Games. I mean, yeah, it's one of my favorite mini series from Marvel possibly ever. I can't wait to have Jason Blum on the podcast. Uh, Marauders. Marauders number 18. This is one of the best Dawn of X titles out there, a series that I don't see myself falling off of anytime soon. I've got a lot of faith in this series. Once again, Jerry Duggan, just doing his thing, man. The dude can write some mutants. He can write some comics. No doubt about it. God, that's a... Uh, DC. DC books. All right. Hey, what do you know? This is a DC book that was only $4. And ironically enough, maybe the key DC book of the week. Apparently there's uh, some some villainy that happens in here, a new something or another. I haven't got around to reading it yet, but from what I hear, um, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, regardless, I'm, Shazam is one of the Future State series that I'm actually reading, or will be reading once I get caught up on everything. Uh, yeah, there you go. Uh, for Immortal Wonder Woman, oh, it's big and thick. Oh, I thought it was glare. It's just the cover. Uh, <laughs> six bucks again. Six bucks again, and I mean, it's, yeah, it's oversized for sure, but I don't know, I don't know. I don't have any real interest in Wonder Woman books, so, but I'm a completionist, and I have every single Future State A cover there is out there. Catwoman, and this one wraps up their little mini-series of two issues. A $4 book again, look at that, good job, Catwoman, I'm proud of you. Uh, yeah, this one's heavy. Future State Worlds of War. Uh, this is the second one. I think this is only a two-parter again. Eight-dollar book. Um, all types of... I mean, this is a thick, thick book once again. Probably super important. Am I going to get around to reading it? No, because you can't put in 40-page books and then uh, multiple 40-page books inside of an event. I don't care if they're only, you know, two issues long. Um... Nah, there's just, there's just too much to read with Future State. So you really do got to pick and choose. And boy, am I being picky. Because when it comes to DC, that's that's really what I am. I'm very picky. What I love, I absolutely love. But um, yeah, I'm just, it's my thing. Uh, Batcat. Number three, I believe. Yep, issue number three. That man, cat, woman. It's a nice thick, ver or nice, nice thick cardstock. On that, I like that. How much did this cost me? Five bucks. Jeez, man. 
you know what? Just print the regular fucking style cover on there and don't charge me the dollar. It's going to go on a bag and board. Come on. I hope these overpriced, and I say overpriced, covers um, in the future, 30 years from now, really do hold some sort of value to them. Like, why, did we, why are we paying? <laughs> Ugh. Whatever. Uh, Nightwing from Future State. Another series that I'm definitely going to have to catch up on. This is number two. Just another two-parter. So, yeah. Yeah. Loving some Nightwing, man. Always love Nightwing. Are you guys ready for Tom Taylor's Nightwing? And then lastly, Future State. Next Batman. Number four. Number four. Yeah, $8 again. God, I'm glad that's all for fucking Future State. I'm so glad. So glad. I think that's it. Like, all of it. Um, I don't think there's any more. I mean, if that's the, if the Batman book's wrapped up on its fourth issue, that's got to be it, right? I can't wait for my ongoings to start up again. I can't wait for Batman 106. I can't, I can't wait for just regular ongoings at DC to start up again. Um, uh, I, get what you, I get what DC did. I do. But at the same time... It really was more of a hindrance to people like myself more than anything. I don't. I don't want to be your fucking guinea pig, man. That's. I. I. I, I don't know. Whatever. Do that shit digital. You know what? Yeah. Do that shit digital. If it's big enough, then I'm fucking. Ugh. Whatever. Indies. Once in future. Number sixteen. Yep. There you go. Uh, a series. I. You know. Ten issues behind. What are you gonna do? Uh, I'll eventually get around to it. It's on the Apocalypse stack for now. But um, I know that from what I have read, it's very entertaining. Uh, I just... Why I fell off, I really don't have a good excuse. That's it's all there is to it. If you fell off of it, it's an excuse, not a reason. <laughs> Stillwater. One that i got to catch up on. Uh, issue number six now. Definitely have to binge in on this. Uh, I, I, I need to know. I need to know, man. Uh, I, I hear great things about this series, and uh, I want to know. All right, now this is a book that I got a little bit of spec on. Um, Shadow Doctor. I think this might be the low-key indie of the week. Uh, I'm I'm actually pretty sure of that. You know, once again, Aftershock, they put out incredible stuff. The Shadow Doctor is based off of a true story. Um, it's, it's, a uh, hard hitting, and uh, I haven't had the chance to pick it up yet, but from the description, it definitely had my interest. Just opening up to the first page, you know, it's going to be, uh, whew. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think this is going to be something. I really do. I, I think it's going to be incredibly underprinted. I don't think there's a lot of people out there. I don't see any of the spec communities out there talking about it. And for that, um... I, I, that's, I think that's all the more reason. I think it's going to be a, a late hit. That's all there is to it. A book that's already a hit. Second coming. Uh, second son. Only Begotten Son. Sorry. So this is the second part of um, uh, the second coming series. Oh, you know what? I'm just saying. If you look at the barcode here. I don't know. Uh, you can't make it out. Well, according to barcode standards, this is second coming number eight. Um, only begotten son number two, so that's interesting. It's all under the the same. Hmm, what's going on here? Ahoy, are you changing the game up on us? Low key, that's telling us. Hmm? How many times are you gonna say low key in the same podcast, bro? Aftershock again. Um, we live. I don't think there's anything low key about this book. I hear a lot of people talking about it. I, a lot of people are anticipating a series or a movie out of it. So. I'm not dropping it. I, I'm not reading it right now. I read the first issue and thought, yeah, no, I could see this being something. It's just not really my taste in reading. Definitely something that I'd probably watch, though. So, there you go. Um, Walking Dead, because, you know, deluxe in color. There's blood. Look, blood. No, still no blood. Blood. No, no. Uh, uh, blood. <laughs> I found some. Buy a goddamn book for blood and not have any fucking blood in it. Uh, <laughs> the picture of everything else. Uh, another little indie series that I find to be very... I mean, it's a horror series. I've been trying to read all the horror comics I can get. 
Um, this one seems like it, it, it's one that could impress for sure. So this is actually one that I'm going to pick up in its entirety. I think it's only going to go six issues, I believe. I believe. Maybe even four. And then, yeah, a little bingey binge. Oh, ha. Ha, ta, 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 ta. Uh, ha, ha. <coughs> ha, ha. Mm-hmm. Yep, there's your A cover. There's your A cover. Yeah, I got a couple of them A covers. There's your B cover. Yes. A book people are specking on highly. Are people still ordering it? Are they gonna, is this book going to be severely over-ordered because people under-ordered the first one? A lot of times that's how it works. You know, first issue, um, everyone's late to it. Next thing you know, people are talking about it. Everybody orders the second issue. Then it's overproduced, and then the spec dies on it. And then if there's no spec on it, people don't fucking buy it anymore, it seems. So, yeah. Um thus creating another low print run again from two and beyond. We'll see. We'll see. I have a feeling that this one is going to be way more printed. The second issue is going to be way more printed than the first. And also the third as well. I, I, I think that's that's how this market's going to work. Um, I'm going to continue to pick up multiple copies of this series. I have plans to send, you know, besides my personal A cover, these other... I, I think they... I think they're going the distance. I'm sending them to CGC. So that's that's what's going on there. Spec, yes. Um, are they going to be the most sought after of the six-part series? Probably not. Still wanted, though. Still highly wanted. I would imagine. Who am I to say? Uh, Power Rangers number four. Because, boom. I mean, because <laughs> boom. Because, <laughs> boom. Uh... Yeah, no, it's uh, I'm loving the Omega Rangers. I'm loving what they're doing with Draken right now. Uh, dare I say Power Rangers is my favorite Boom series? I dare. I think I dare at this point. For three issues and knowing uh, and being so excited about the fourth, I think it's safe to say. But what about something is killing the children? Oh, I'm not reading it. Uh, <laughs> savage. The book. Uh, number one. Number one, uh, it's Valiant, man. It's Valiant. So I'm, I'm reading everything Valiant. And there's not a lot of it. I'm not boasting. I'm just saying Valiant's really... I'm boasting for Valiant because they're really, really good. And if it's something new and exciting from Valiant, I'm going to pick it up. It's Max Bemis for one, so it's going to be fucking weird. I would almost guarantee it. Almost. Uh, and now the book you've probably been anticipating. You're probably thinking, jeez, man, how have I made it this far? In? Uh, <laughs> uh, last running. This is the one, guys. This is the book of the week. I picked up three. Plus the one in ten. Oh, I got so many. Plus, I don't have it yet. I think he's drawing on it right now as we speak. Uh, I got the Bish Kids subscription box status, so I'm going to get that last round of number two exclusive cover with the, the, the doodle by Ben Bishop. up. I'm excited for that. I'm all in on this last Ronin stuff, you know. Beyond this just being a, a book to spec on based off of uh, essentially just an incredible story. Uh, number two does have a very significant first appearance in it. Um, I, and I apologize if this is spoilery in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I'll give you the opportunity to not listen to it. Okay, we're back. Uh, <laughs> um, Casey Jones's daughter. Uh, mm -hmm, Casey Jones. Casey Marie Jones. She, I mean, spit an image of, you know, like if uh, April O'Neil and Casey Jones made a baby. It's a lot what it would be like. And there she is. All teenaged or doubt. Maybe young adulted. Um... I think this is going to be a massive book. I'm glad I pre-ordered three of these. I'm glad I was able to get to the shop in time to pick up the one in ten at a pretty good price too. I think I got it for thirty bucks plus my twenty percent discount. Um, it's going to CGC. Uh, the one in ten number one is selling very well. These nine point people are starting to get their turtle books back in their nine point eights, and they're doing very very well. Um, so yes, no, I've been I've been inspired. I'm gonna send mine out. I think there's a I think there's something here. Am I going to flip it right away? No. No, I think these books are, uh, there's some longevity to them. 
There is. I I I, I there I think they're a good hold right now. We'll see. I mean, let's let's see how the, the the series plays out. Let's see how the ongoing plays on. You know, cuz I feel like Lita's going to tie last run and then the, the 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 current state of the turtles now all together with the time traveling stuff. So, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. So there you go. Those are my books. Um get, get start a pull list, man. Start a pull list. Uh, thanks for tuning in as long as you have. I know this is much longer than usual, but it's a big stack, and I'm proud of my stack, damn it. I'm proud of those books. I want to talk about them all. So, uh, yeah. Remember, check out the podcast three times a week at Creator Corner Interviews, uh, highlights where I go through and actually talk about the books after I've read them. And then um, I continue to talk about what's what's going to be on the future Wednesday pull list videos and the pull list priorities. So I'll tell you what to pre-order, what's what's coming out, what's hot on the podcast. So there you go. Follow it anywhere. iTunes, Spotify, anywhere else. Amazon does it now. So get excited. Uh, what else don't or what don't they do? Jesus Christ. I don't, I don't think they do dog walking. I don't think Amazon does dog walking yet. If that happens, you know where it came from. Uh, thanks again, guys. I see you next Wednesday. Cheers, fuckers.